Welcome dear children and all lovers of good fairy tales to my channel. This is channel dedicated to you. One times a week I will publish good night stories. My name is Aliana and I will read for you. Hopefully you have a good fit and have already thrown and wait for the story of impatience. Tonight I'm gonna read the story Brave Taylor the Grimm Brothers. There once a tailor who worked hard every day. Once he buy a gem from a traveling salesman and sit down to eat. As the fly get used to the gem, he gets annoyed. Pick up a rag he slashed and slams into the table. When he pick up the cloth, he sees seven dead flies and cries out. Seven with one punch! I killed seven with one punch! His shoot is here by the two passers by talking about giant killing heroes and when in the middle of the converse conversation a tailor cries out that he killed seven with one punch they make him think he is a hero and giant killer and take him to the head of a nearby village when the chief arrive he me measure him from head to two and ask people tell me you kill seven right yes chief i kill seven with one blow all right young man if you kill seven you won't have a problem taking care of one who torments this village i will greatly reward if you agree no problem, chief. Just show me where it is. There it is on the meadow of the meadow. You can't miss it. It's huge. I'm not afraid of the big one. I kill seven with one blow. The tailor say goodbye to the chief. Say that he would return quickly. And when the way of the meadow... When he arrive at the meadow, a huge giant suddenly come out in front of him and say, You must be the new boss of a giant killer. A giant killer? No, it's me. Enough of the stories. Interrupted by Jin, I got bored of this with giant killers. I already killed dozens of them, and I kill you too, but I want to have some fun. That's why I challenge you for a day. Okay, I accept. It's like I have a choice, thinks the tailor. Giant went a little further until he found two stones. Jin took the stones in his hand and crushed it into the sand. Then he let the tailor do the same. The tailor skyfully swapped the stone for a piece of cheese from his bag, and when the water is quased in his hand from the stone, Jin is started incredible. Then he took the gin of the other two stones and caused one of them high, so high that one could barely see it. When the stone fall, the giant gave the tailor another stone to the do seam. The tailor often exchanged the stone for the bird. So when he throw into the sky, the bird flies away and doesn't not return. Jain was surprised again that the stone did not fall at all. Then the giant told the tailor that the two would carry a large tree by half. The tailor accepted and said that he would carry 
the branches, and the giant bring the tree, as the giant brought the tree and with it the branches. The tailor just went behind the giant and pretended to bear the tree. When he cared the tree, the giant paid trouble to the tailor's stride and said that he would no longer cause trouble to the chief and the village. The tailor think, thanking him for Magdan and went back to the village. Everyone in village gets him as a true hero. The chief gave him so much gold that he could not take it and told him to go with luck. The tailor went home, but did not pass a week when someone knocking on the door. These are two messengers for the king. Brave tailor, the king has heard of your heroes and is calling you to court. King, calling me. Here, just to get my bag, I go out. When they are out at the court, they took the tailor strike to the king and he asked him, You are brave tailor who killed a giant a few days ago. I'm your highness. It is true that you killed seven with one blow. Yes, and that's true, your highness. A great tailor. Get him to a horse and take him to the forest to take care of the problem right now. The powerful horseman captured the tailor, mount him to, on the horse and lead him to the nearby summit where the two giants lived. They leave him a quickly accept from the forest. The tailor was a little through the forest and see two giants lying. He slowly approach, fold his bag with a stone and climb a tree. From there he secretly threw a giant stone as his head. This one wake up look around and goes back to sleep. The tailor waits to fall asleep again and turns another stone, even bigger than the first, one that hits the giant right in the middle of his nose. He woke up, looked around, and so no one woke up. Another giant and told him not to dis disgust him again. The other giant said he didn't disgust in him, so they both went back to sleep. Shortly after the tailor threw a stone at the giant, and he woke up again and hit the other giant, they begin to quarrel, but come down and go. As soon as they fell asleep, the tailor took a handbag, all the stone from the bag to the giant, and all this angry struck the other, a be a beginning to the several beaten. So they beat and wrestled until the bot fell off a high cliff and were killed. The tailor returned to the court and received the title of royal from the king. Because of his huge brave, he became famous all around of kingdom, and after a while he and the princess fell in love and married and lived happily ever after. In addition to him courage, we learn from this tailor that he needed to be very wise in order to make someone so big. Now this tailor is now all over the world. Thank you for listening story for good night. 
If you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe on my channel. Be sure to press the bell to get alerts when my videos are coming out. If you have any special desire to read your favorite story, write to me under the video in comments or my mail address, Instagram or Facebook. See the description of the video address. To the next video, sleep well and listen spoken soft my stories for good night. Good night.